Roswell Flight Test Crew here at AUV Exponential 2017 and I'm at the flyability booth with Mark Gondion and you've got what looks to me like a drone and a ball here so what's going on? Okay so here you have our drone that we call Helios. This drone is a unique drone. It can fly where I would not send any other drone. I would fear to crash that drone. Our drone would not crash because it has this protective frame around it with a very special decoupling mechanism. So the aircraft that you see inside is actually has three axis rotation uh, liberty, which provides it a unique feature. So if you take a regular drone and you put a cage that you fix to it, right? When it flies, it tilts, right? It, when it hits an obstacle, there is a force momentum that would flip the drone over and in this situation, what's going to happen? The drone is going to crash, right? I've seen that before. Right. <laughs> I did too. But here, what happened is that the cage is going to absorb this, this energy and it will rotate and the, the, the actual aircraft will stay steady and keep going, right? So what's going to happen? The drone is going to bounce off the obstacle and continue its way. So you can pretty much fly everywhere. Now, why would I want to fly in an area with lots of walls and things? That doesn't seem like a good place to go flying. It is actually very useful for a lot of industries. You have a lot of assets out there and they are very uh, precious for their owner and you have to inspect them regularly so that you're sure about their integrity and you can continue exploiting them, reach some places where you don't want to send human and here that drone can, can fly in there. Now you're talking about all these industrial things and I'm imagining refineries and all these heavy industry things. Those places have tend to have a lot of metal and concrete and other things that I think of as being unfriendly to RC radio signals. So how do you keep this thing from going down when it's, you know, flies more than a few feet inside a concrete bunker or something? When you do an inspection, you don't fly so far away, right? The distance is quite short, but concrete is a problem. Let's take an example, sewers, for example. You have a shaft 20 meter down, then you, you access the, the gallery where uh, the actual sewer. And that's the part you want to inspect. So build a new uh, accessory for that, that you can, it's, it's, it's kind of a, an extension to uh, the signal. So it's, it's a repeater at the end of a cable that you deploy down the shaft. Then you stay on the ground, you hook that up to your remote controller. And then when you fly the drone, the emission point is well located because it's actually propagating the signal up the shaft so you can start from the ground and, and fly down but it's also propagating inside the gallery and it's just it's a simple approach but we're just moving the point of emission to the right place and that solves the problem very clever all right what does this thing cost and when's it going to be available the drone is is available since a year now and it costs twenty five thousand dollar but it comes as a whole package. You're gonna get a good return on investment. You get the drone, you get the tablet, you get a remote controller, you get spare parts, you get training. We really want our, our customer to be to, to know how to operate that thing correctly. And does this extender, is that an accessory or how do you get your hands on that? So the extender is an accessory. It comes at an, at an extra cost. We also have a package that put together all things. The range extender comes at a unique price of 4,500, and that includes a carrying case. That includes the actual extender, and we've we made it, you know very compact so that when you go on a mission, you can carry it over your shoulder, you grab the drone in, in your hand and you have everything you need for a mission. So that, you know, it helps you cover the last mile to access the place where you're gonna do the, in, the inspection. All right, outstanding. So from AUVSI 2017, this is the Roswell Flight Test Crew signing off. Thanks, Mark. Thank you. <laughs>